and you're losing function. It's like, well, you know, my, my customer wants a functional closet, a functional kitchen. We don't want, we don't want all the, quote, frills. But I'd like to say that good use of embellishments actually adds function to the space. And the best, uh, best example of that in the kitchen, I think, is the spice rack pullout, right? So a lot of the cabinet makers in here, you guys have done spice rack pullouts. Put a couple half posts right on the front of a spice rack pullout. And when it's pushed back, it looks like it's a nice bump out with posts. And then you pull it out and you get your spices. Here's another closet island with some embellished feet on it. Not only are the feet making it look nicer, making it look classier, but you get a toe kick out of it. So now when someone is actually working or whatever they're doing at a closet island, they have a toe kick that they can, uh, that they can put their feet under. <clears throat> another thing when using embellishments is that you want to, you don't want to um, just use embellishments to use embellishments. You want them to flow together. All right, notice this kitchen, while I'm not a huge fan of the corbels on the range hood, notice that the foot that's uh, in the toe kick of the bump out and the leg that's holding up the granite are the same traditional design. So you don't want a contemporary embellishment and a traditional, traditional embellishment in the same space. You want them to actually uh, cooperate and, uh, and raise that design to the, to the entire space. A lot of people may think that using embellishments is over the top, okay? And I've heard customers say, oh, we don't, we don't do that. We don't use your products because, you know, they're just so ornate. They're so over the top. It's like you took like a Victorian house and had it like throw up in your kitchen, you know? That's not, that's not really what it's always all about. Embellishments are not, they don't have to be over the top. Look at this kitchen right here. You have a very simple arts and crafts, maybe you want to call it a mission style kitchen, and you're like, no nonsense. You know, it's just, it's a plain kitchen, it's very nice, but notice that you have a granite overhang and a corbel, even though it's very simple, some may call it a bracket, but that's an embellishment. That's what I would call an embellishment, and it's holding up the granite top. So it doesn't have to be over the top. It doesn't have to be super ornate. One more thing I wanted to share with you this morning about embellishments is Choosing an embellishment, uh, for all of you designers that are here, choosing an actual embellishment, might it be a leg, a foot, a corbel, a molding, is just as important as choosing a door style, choosing uh, a color, it's just as important. Look at this kitchen for a second. Here you have a lot of straight lines in all the doors and the, uh, the mullions on the glass, the actual trim work on the column right there. A traditional round leg a round turned leg really wouldn't go all that well. So what they did was they put a square profile leg in instead, which makes it go so much better with the entire space because now you have more straight lines going with the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the design of the room. Okay, so enough of all that. What I want to do now is I want to start ideation, okay? And basically what I, I want that presentation to kind of jumpstart this conversation. What I want to do, is, for those of you who were here last year at this breakfast, um, this might be a little bit old, but ideation is all about you. It's not about Osborne. It's not about me. It's all about you. You get out of it what you put into it, okay? And so what we're going to do is in just a minute, we're going to, you can discuss at your tables. You can get up. You can go to other tables. I put flip charts around the room, okay? I want you guys to get up to talk. Talk about problems in your shop, how you solve them, what ideas you have to uh, combat them. Over in this area right here in the front here, we're going to continue this conversation about embellishments in closet design right over here, okay? So if you want more information about that, come on up to the front of the room. And I just encourage everyone to kind of make their way around the room, see what people are talking about, and see if you have any answers or any questions. Put your two cents in. We have a lot of resources on the tables. We have idea blocks. We got pads, markers. There's markers on the flip charts. Please put your ideas down. This is, gonna, this is all about helping you guys, okay? This is about you. So in just a minute, I'm going to do that. One last thing, though. Osborne is at the show, okay? I got products at the booth, catalogs over there as well. Before you leave the breakfast, 
take um take a little uh, giveaway that I got on the tables. There's little boxes and brochures. Take one of those. It's our gift to you. Um, if you leave here without one of those because we didn't have enough, just come by the booth. I got more over there. Okay. So everyone, get on up. Go meet people.